Hey guys, Solana has recently shown unrealistic growth in terms of price and ecosystem. So now many people are wondering if it is too late to invest in this asset. So today, I will answer your most important questions about this project. What was the reason for the significant growth? Is it too late to invest in this project? And will Solana be able to take the place of Ethereum? So subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get started. Solana is a great example of a team's constant work, ecosystem development and growth despite all the negative factors. Do you know at least one project from the top 15 by market cap that has made 762% in just one year, returning to its old glory? I can tell you right now that there are no such coins. Besides, two years ago, everyone thought that Sol would not recover after the FTX scam. On my channel, I often talk about this asset and emphasize how much the project could grow in the near future. And everything happened exactly as I said, even though many people did not believe in this scenario. But now, you can see an unrealistic number of Xs even in my latest videos. Therefore, I propose to analyze this phenomenon and to determine if there is still potential for further growth and what to do now in order not to miss even more profits. Now Solana is catching up with Ethereum, which is developing at a fast pace. New projects, NFTs, GameFi, and a growing TVL, which shows the trust of the community. Such TVL numbers were last seen in May 2022, when the Solana market and ecosystem were less developed. In my last video about Solana, I said that it would definitely take the second place in the near future, and that's exactly what happened. This confirms its status as the top two altcoin on the market. But now, I propose to analyze whether Solana really has a chance to take over the Ethereum market or a small part of it. But before I continue, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the latest market updates and events. Many claim that Solana could be the Ethereum killer, but I don't share this opinion. Ethereum is still at an unattainable status. However, even though Solana is one cycle younger, it already shows the advantages that I will mention later. At this stage, Solana is not able to kill Ethereum, but it is actively gaining market share. In general, one of the factors behind its rebirth in 2023 was meme coins, which simply flooded the entire market. Even now, thousands of tokens are issued every day, most of which unfortunately are nothing more than a trivial desire of the founders to make money. Of course, there are many stories about how a successful trader made money on a new token by investing $1,000 and taking several hundred percent of the profits. For example, the Bohm coin peaked at over $1 billion in capitalization. Many early investors who participated in the launchpad saw more than 6,000% profit. But you must understand that a token does not always show such an unrealistic price increase, and sometimes even the token itself does not come out after the end of the launchpad. A great confirmation of my words is this post from a large company of analysts. They did a study and found that out of 28 large launch pads from influencers, only 12 of them actually made a token. That means a lot of people were left without their money and without a token. And here we can draw a pretty clear conclusion. While Memocoin launch pads are just starting to gain popularity on the Solana blockchain, unfortunately, many investors are faced with scrambling and disorganization on the part of the founders. That's why I decided to look at projects that allow early investors to make real profits and significantly multiply their investments. And I managed to find the Dogecoin 20 token, the successor to Dogecoin. The project has a staking service with 34 billion coins already blocked. In total, 15% of the total issue is reserved for staking. Memecoin, unlike its older brother, is created on the Ethereum network, which immediately simplifies the process of buying and selling it. And, importantly, its maximum supply is limited, with 25% allocated for presale. In addition, the team has already passed security audits, showing a strong result. On April 20th, the token will be available for trading on the Uniswap exchange, and it is possible that it will be listed on other exchanges in the future. In the meantime, you can participate in the Dodgy 20 presale and stake it. You can buy them for USDT, BNB, Ethereum, or fiat directly on the project website. The coins will be available immediately after the launch on April 20th. More than $10 million has already been raised, and this amount will only grow. So if you like the project, I left a link in the description box. You can find all the details there. But let's go back to the comparison between Solana and Ethereum, because while everything is clear with Memocoins, other indicators are not so clear. 
For example, Solana is far ahead in the number of monthly transactions, and the same is true for active wallets. Solana is clearly the leader in this area, with almost twice as much activity, and this can be clearly seen in the general interest in blockchain. It seems to me that it would be strange to deny that this blockchain is no longer something that can be ignored or overlooked. Solana is a fast, secure, and above all very cheap product that gives you everything you need but does it much more conveniently and easily than Ethereum, which is why I see great potential. By the way, here's what Solana founder Anatoly Yakovenko thinks about it. Solana is kind of uniquely positioned in the industry to be non-sharded, no layer twos, a single giant global state machine. What's unique about Solana is that it doesn't have any layers, it doesn't do the separation, and it preserves this composability, which makes things cheaper and faster. And it's hard to argue with that, because Solana really doesn't need to make L2 solutions, of which there are many based on Ethereum. And they are really needed there, because even now, when the bull market has not yet started, the gas for making transactions on this blockchain is simply sky high. Sometimes these numbers exceed 100. So in a bull market, the average gas per transaction will easily reach 300 or more. So I see a scenario where Solana can soon reach the same level as Ethereum. The Solana team knows how to create hype around their products, like with their Solana phone, which has generated a lot of buzz. This interest is partly due to their collaboration with Bonk, a meme coin on the Solana blockchain. When buying a smartphone, customers were given a drop of Bonk coins, which led to a tenfold increase in sales and raised the price of the phone to $5,000 after all units were sold out. And this case shows even more how Solana, its community, and the information field are committed to the constant growth of the ecosystem and the enrichment of both small investors and the team itself. In addition, in a few weeks, a series of large drops from ecosystem projects will begin. I'm sure that tens of thousands of people will receive either large or small amounts of money, which will definitely continue to flow into the ecosystem, which is huge. Also, judging by what the team is saying on Twitter, we will have some important strategic partnerships very soon. So the next few months look pretty positive for Solana. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of my videos and stay up to date with the latest news. I will definitely tell you about all the important events. And now, let's move on to my price prediction. The market is in a positive phase with growth and a lot of good news. Since the beginning of the year, BTC is up 66%, Bitcoin ETFs have been launched, and halving is just a few weeks away. So the next two years promise to be very interesting for cryptocurrencies. Solana is actively developing, as evidenced by its fast-selling phones and expanding ecosystem. After the downturn caused by FTX, where Solana fell to $12, it recovered by entering into significant partnerships and increasing phone sales. This is only the beginning of further growth. I see Solana breaking the old high and reaching new heights. $500 for Solana is possible in this market. While I'm moving on to my bullish prediction, what is your realistic prediction taking into account all possible factors? Share in the comments. The crypto market is unpredictable, and significant growth is quite possible. Vanek predicts that Solana could surpass Ethereum and TVL and DeFi, which seems overly ambitious to me. However, I believe that the TVL gap between the two will narrow. Another interesting prediction from Vanek is $3,200 for Solana by 2030. Despite the distant forecast, I believe that significant changes are possible in the next two to three years. Solana is actively competing with Ethereum and taking market share. If Solana continues to grow at the current pace, it could reach or even surpass Ethereum's previous records, which would be an impressive achievement. Only time will tell how realistic this is. And I would like to remind you that this video is by no means financial advice, just my thoughts and calculations. And that's all. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the growth of coins and new trends. Thanks for watching your coin post.